Ramadan Mubarak! Salam and greetings humans. And I'm gonna try and be really still because I'm filming on my bed and I have the most precarious stack of books as a video holder at the moment. So I'm gonna try not to move too much. Um, and to, But the purpose of this video is to share with you keep my job straight um some of the books that i'm reading this ramadan and some tips that i think will help you with your ramadan reading list see gotta be still okay so the first book i have is super simple it's just a journal this one was a gift from my old roommate thank you today um and it's really the planner that I use for everything else. See? Welcome 2017. But I've got a whole section on Ramadan. Ding! 1438 2017. So it's got my list of goals. It's got surahs that I need to go back over that I've already memorized. The ones that I want to memorize. Um, it's got kind of a tracker. This is just the first 24 days. It's got a tracker of habits that I want to keep, like mainly waking up to eat suhoor, uh, going to tarawih, finishing the Quran in 20 days instead of 30, because I'm a lady and sometimes you miss some days. So that's great. Um, I also have suhoor recipes in here. I've got a dua list. So basically it's just a way to keep a handle on all the things that you have as goals for Ramadan and inshallah writing them down and having logical steps to meet them helps you accomplish those goals this month. The second thing I have is something that's really essential. I have a copy on my phone but I also like to have a hard copy so I can stay off of my phone and not get distracted and it is Fortification of Muslim. Okay, I thought there were a few more pronouns, but uh, I would say the fortification of the Muslim. Or, yeah, fortification of the Muslim. Um, and this is just a book. It's This one's super tiny. I'm sure they've got larger ones. But this one has du'as and for every situation. So... For expelling the devil, expelling the devil in his whisperings to, you know, all the stuff that you do in the morning, getting dressed, going to the bathroom, entering the house, leaving the house. Um, supplications during a windstorm, dirt for rain. Um, what to say to, supplications said to newlyweds. Um, all sorts of stuff. When entering the market, like there are, how many? like 128 different instances in here and there are 261 different du'as and things like that. So it's a solid thing to have just on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, like I said, they have them as apps for your phone. So if you just cannot be bothered to carry around this teeny tiny book with you, um, you can just have it with you all the time. The next book is a book that my friend let me borrow. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, it is called Clear Your Doubts About Islam, 50 Answers to Common Questions. Okay, and this book is fantastic. I've actually used it in my MSA, kind of like a trivia sort of thing. So there are... It's organized by sections, general, religious beliefs, prophets and scriptures, legislation, social and family, family issues, and welfare and terrorism. Um, and then under there, they're like, you know, between five and ten questions for each section. And they range from things as simple as, what is Islam and what is a Muslim? To harder questions like, um, wasn't Islam spread by the sword? Isn't Islam a militant religion? Um, does Islam accept slavery? Things like that. So it's a pretty slim book. There are two versions of it. This is a, or two editions. This is the second edition. And I like this one because it's organized well and it's just kind of easy to find what you want. As you can see, 
I got a couple little tabbies in here um, for things that I thought were really good questions. Like, I don't know, even if you have, for me, having a non-Muslim family, this is a great place to go when they ask me all sorts of questions. So, like, what is the purpose of our creation is one. What is the purpose of worship and why should people worship at all? Um, things like that. Like, it's just good. And it gives you, you know, references to the Quran and, and then it tells you, so like in this one, is it true that Muslims don't believe in Jesus and what does Islam say about him? And then it has a couple of different annotations and it tells you where in the Quran you can find them or where, you know, those things take place. So I think that was great. So thank you for letting me borrow this. Another book is, oh, Reclaim Your Heart by Yasmin Mozahed. I hope I didn't butcher that. But um, I am not a person who reads books more than once. It's just not my thing. Um, but this is a book that I can honestly tell you I've already read three times and I'm going through it again. It is so, so, mashallah, Yasmin, this is so wonderful and it's, so great and it talks about it's got different sections one talks about attachments which i have a hard time with um the next one is love third one is hardships relationships with the creator women's status umma poetry and then that's it um again it's a fairly thin book um i would not even say doesn't even pass 200 pages 168 um but if you could get this on Kindle or in hard copy, again, pretty easy to carry about. It is fantastic. I've read it so much, I've managed to spill Thai food on it. So, but it is still a wonderful read and I just love it. It is. Thanks, Yasmin. She didn't send this to me. Or be still. She didn't send this to me, but great author follow her on Instagram. Her stuff is always inspirational and wonderful. Um, the next book I have is actually something that I have as a digital copy, but as I have a tendency to get distracted if I'm on my computer or even I'm reading on my phone, um, by text messages, by emails, by everything under the sun, um, I've printed it out. Now I didn't print out the cover page, but I did write the title. It is called Purification of the Soul. And this is wonderful. It talks about um, the first couple of chapters were really great. And I read them at the very, well, it's still the very beginning of Ramadan. It's only day two. But I read them at the very beginning of that first day to try and um, kind of recenter, you know, like what is this all about? Because the first two chapters are, the first one is Sincerity. And the second one is the nature of intention. And that is really important. So it also has chapters, um, types of hearts, and then the different poisons of the hearts and symptoms of heart sickness. It has supplications. It has praying at night. It has states of self, perseverance, love of Allah, hope in Allah, fear of Allah, uh, repentance, contentment with the decree of Allah. Um doing without the pleasures of this world, and so on. It's 21 chapters, and then it's got a glossary of Arabic terms at the end. Um, and I just thought it was wonderful, and I'm really looking forward to digging back into this. I haven't read it since 2015, so we'll dig back into that. The last, well, last two books are, of course, Ramadan Essentials. The first is the Quran and also the Quran. So this little one is one that goes in my backpack, goes in my purse, um, comes with me everywhere. But it is an English translation, right? For me, that makes the most sense. English is the language I understand the best. And so that's what I like to do a lot of my reading from. Again, I have a copy of the Quran on my phone, but as always, technology can be a distraction. So I like to have a little bitty hard copy 
that can just really it could almost go in my back pocket but um just like to have it so I can stick it in my bag and it goes with me wherever I go the other one is much much larger and it stays in my room um, it actually lives on my bedside table right over there um, but it is it has three columns. One column is in Arabic. This middle column is the transliteration in uh, English letters. And then the last is English. So I find it really helpful and really nice since I can read Arabic, but very, very slowly. Um, to have the Arabic there so I can read it when I'm interested in and to have the English so I can read the English so I can understand hmm, excuse me and to have the transliteration to see am I saying this right um, but it's really nice because at the beginning of this book at the beginning of this Quran there is a whole section on stuff um, on the letters sorry you can't see that on the Arabic letters on you know different points to remember this is super cumbersome um different it's a list of prostration prostration places so this is these are places where um one should prostrate upon reading them um arabic words explained so that's got a few allah hajj iblis islam jinn muhajir uh, Muslim, Qibla, Quran, Ramadan, Surah, Umrah, Umma, Yatrib, and Zakat. Woo. And then it just has an index of all the surahs. It's got the name, it's got the which number surah it is, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's got the page number that it starts on, and it's got whether it's a Maki or Madani Surah in there. And then it's got the same thing in Arabic on this side. So English and then Arabic. So I really like this one. Really fond of it. And then it even has a... Uh, is it an index? It's got... No. Index? Glossary? What's the thing where it tells you the word and then you can go find it and then there's a page number. So whatever you call that. Ugh. So that's it for books for me. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books, inshallah, they're helpful to you in your Ramadan. Um, either this one or the next one, inshallah. So may Allah accept the, your fasting and mine, and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.